we are asking you how many presidential candidates do you know that are contesting uh, for the presidency in the August 8th general election? Well, let's take a look now at some of the presidential candidates that have uh, fronted their bids for this position. And uh, we begin, first of all, with a look now at uh, independent candidates. And here we have uh, Professor Michael Wainaina among the independent candidates. We also have uh, Joe Nyaga and uh, Naslin Omar. So these are the first three presidential candidates there. And uh, let's begin now with, uh, of course, uh, Professor Michael Wainaina, who is a former lecturer and believes that the future of Kenya is in the hands of youth and women. So that is a constituency that he is running for. His slogan is Youthify and Modernize Kenya. And we also have John Yaga, another independent candidate there, um, following complaints by disgruntled aspirants after the conclusion of the Jubilee primaries. A former cabinet minister and a veteran politician, Joe Nyaga, has pulled a surprise there by securing an independent certificate. And uh, of course, he recently resigned as a presidential advisor uh, on regional integration. And Naslin Omar is not a new candidate, so to speak. She has been. Um, taking Nazlin Umar. She has been taking part in this uh, presidential uh, race for quite a while now, uh, Nazrin Umar. So that's a you there, not an O. And uh, in some quarters, she is known as the Iron Lady. She is the only female presidential candidate um, for the 2017 general election. She is a renowned women's rights activist, um, especially when it comes to gender, HIV, AIDS, and uh, overall human, uh, human rights. And more independent candidates here, remember this time, we have nine independent candidates running for the presidency. So Pete Ondeng of the Restore and Build Kenya Party. And uh, Pete Ondeng is a finance and economic development expert with a passion for leadership and development. He is also an author and a speaker with experience spanning up to 30 years. And he is running um, the Restore and Build Kenya Party and Abduba Dida, another one from the Tunza Coalition, also running there. Um, uh, Abduba Dida, of course, again, not a new entrant into politics. Uh, we did see him uh, run for presidency in 2013. We also had him take part in the presidential debate, which really spewed him into the limelight. Now, he is also commonly known as Mwalimu, having served as the CEO of uh, Faulu Kenya. He also worked in the Netherlands as the Africa director of uh, Oiko Credit. Credit. All right, and uh, after Abdul Badida there, we have uh, Kennedy Mongare from the Federal Party of uh, Kenya. He is the Nyamira Senator, current Nyamira Senator. And um, of course, uh, he did launch his bid for the presidency ahead of the general election under uh, the Federal Party of Kenya. His decision, he says, uh, was uh, driven by his belief that Kenyans have been betrayed by subsequent governments since independence, saying that he wants to make the change. So those are the few presidential candidates there uh, just to give you a sneak peek. Of course, we have more. The likes of Ekuro Court, who is running under the Third Way Alliance Party. Cyrus Jirongo is running under the UDP Party. And of course, Uhuru Kenyatta under the Jubilee Party. And Raila Odinga, who is the NASA presidential flag bearer. So quite a number of presidential candidates there in the general election. How will this play out in the presidential debates? That is up for our newsroom conversation. Michael will be driving this conversation. But let's begin with an introduction of our panel. Right, thank you.